Hi, I'm Darshit from Lead Connect. Um, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Zap where you can um, send data from Lead Connect to your Salesforce account. So let's begin. Um, let's go to Zapier and make a new Zap. Um, let's select a webhook. Um, here are the webhooks. Um, choose a triggering event. Let's select catch hook over here. Uh, so this is the custom webhook URL. So we need to copy this URL and paste it in our lead connect extension. So here we go. And we will paste this over here and test send test data. So our lead connect and Zapier integration has been completed now. So all the data from the sequences would be sent to uh, Zapier using that URL. Okay, so, uh, oops, uh, you can see it over here that this is the data received by um, Lead Connect. Uh, so you can see Lead Sources, Lead Connect, and this is a sample data. Um, now we are going to create a sequence. So let's create a sequence for and data analysts. Um, I will select the invitation type, select type as invitation, and turn on this Zapier toggle. Um, there are four events that Zapier provide, but for this sample, I'm just going to run invitation accepted. So uh, whenever an invitation would be accepted, a lead would be generated in Salesforce right over here. Right now, I have no leads created. So whenever an invitation would be accepted, lead would be generated in this lead section in sales, Salesforce. Sorry, not sales navigator. Uh, here, you need to here you need to define your target audience. So let's go to the sales navigator. Uh, I ha already have a uh, search result ready for data analysts. So. Uh, I have kept my search results for uh, regions for Germany and United Kingdoms and kept the United uh, relationships as second degree connections. And these are the seniority level. And this is the search result I came up with. So I'm going to copy this. Um, one second, and I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. And, uh, and here you can see the, um, the URL has turn blue, which means it has been accepted by the sequence. Now you can also send an invitation message to your prospects. So for now, I'm going to uh, send a high message to the prospects. And how are you would be my follow-up message. Um, let's say I want to send my follow-up message after 15 minutes of uh, the delay after the invitation has been accepted. So sequence will wait for 15 minutes and then fire a follow-up message. You can also set up a withdrawal request from here. So let's say uh, by default it is uh, 45 days, but I will set it to seven days. So let's say um, the invitation has not been accepted by your prospect for seven days. So it will be withdrawn automatically uh, by the lead connect after seven days. So I'm going to save this sequence and the sequence is ready. Now let's create our Zap. So in Zap, um, I will search for Salesforce and my triggering event will be create a lead. Continue. Here it is asking me to integrate my Salesforce account. I already have one integrated, so I'm going to select that account and continue. Okay, so here are the few details which uh, Zapier asks uh, how you want to customize your uh, lead in Salesforce. So um, you can you can fill up the details. So I'm going to fill up few details. Um, let's say first name. Um, okay, um, let's give him a phone number. Ah, here it is, phone number. 
Um, I think that's enough for the demo. Uh, okay, I will just send a test data now. And yeah, you can um, yes refresh this and you can see that George Will has been created over here as a new lead over here. So this was the sample data. Now I will uh, turn on this zap and let the sequence run. So I'm going to stop this uh, recording for some moment, let's say for two, three hours um, until I receive some uh, data. So I'm going to pause this video for some time and get back to you as soon as I receive some uh, leads in my Salesforce account. All right, so.